we have recently conducted one of the largest uh, fintech research on neobanks. So we have analyzed almost 45 neobanks across Europe, US, and Asia, and we have tried to understand which are the key major trends upcoming. Today we are with Giuseppe Marchese here, and we'll try to, uh, to go through the three main findings that uh, came out from our research. Hi, Giuseppe. Hi, Nicolo. Thank you very much for having me here. And the thing is that the neobanks market is growing so fast. Uh, it's been starting like in 2018, it was almost $18 million. Mm -hmm. And now it's like ending up in 2019 and being like almost $30 million. And by 2026, it should be like $4 billion. So the market is growing so fast and we basically analyzed the, most, the three opportunities that actually neobanks are leveraging to grow so fast. Uh, so um, first of all, there's like the old international payments and money remittance market. Uh, we've seen like how classical banks are losing customers because they're charging them with a yeah. lot of fee in you know in international uh, uh, fees for exchanging monies. And like there are new banks like Revolut, for example, uh, they're allowing customers to basically pay without any fees in more than 25 uh, different uh, currencies and also allowing them to exchange money uh, across countries, more than uh, I would say 180 countries without any fee and also doing that very smart also with WhatsApp they can you know change money. So definitely this is one of the opportunity. Second one would be uh, I would say uh, the account integration and also money management. So we've seen recently that there's a lot of neo banks, for example Tandem, that are allowing customers to aggregate their accounts, multiple accounts, and manage their expenses. So they are be able to know exactly how much they are spending uh, every time and also set you know some limits on that and there is the last one that you probably know a little bit more because you yes analyze so the, that the, the last trend we have seen is on the on the lending side right because most of these you know emerging neo banks they have better access to consumer data right so they can either do better credit scoring but they can also manage the entire lending process in a way more efficient way. So I think we will, will be expecting a boom in terms of consumer loans and SME loans coming from uh, neo banks. And one of the key examples that we've saw that we've seen in the marketplace is Nubank in uh, in uh, in Brazil. So these are the key trends we've seen in the marketplace. And uh, visit gomedici.com and you can download our uh, white paper on neo banks for free.